Well, hi there. I'm Noah Bradley, and this is Handmade House TV. On this week's episode, we're going we're to talk about roof membranes, whatever it is that goes in underneath our high-quality roofing material that we choose to use. So stay tuned, and we'll talk about that. Well, all right, if you've been following along here, you know that we have our logs set up on our uh, log shed and we went ahead and put the rafters in place. We followed up by putting the sheathing down and then we took care of the fascia. And now it's time to focus on getting the final roof in place, the, the thing that will get us in the dry, uh, to get us under roof. Both of those terms are terms that you hear in the construction industry a whole lot. And it's a goal. It's something you really want to get to. I've, I've known a few people who bragged that got their house under roof before it rained that they started from, from day one with the framing and got it all under, and so none of the wood ever got a touch of rain on it uh, through the process, which is an amazing accomplishment. And so when I finish up a sh uh, any structure at all, I try to keep it dry as possible through the construction process until I get that final roof in place. And one of the ways I do that is what you see behind me is just throwing a, a sheet of plastic up, which is uh, pretty, uh, it does the job, but it's high maintenance. It tends to blow off. It's frustrating. Uh, it doesn't always perform as well as what you can, but nonetheless, I highly recommend you put plastic over top of your roof. So today I'm out here at the Little Log Shed, and I really want to move past this plastic stage of having this, uh, having to deal with this and worried about whether or not it blows off uh, at nighttime in, uh, in a strong gust of wind and gets wet and uh, it seems all pointless to have done this so far. So today we're gonna, we're gonna pull this plastic off and I'm gonna put down a membrane surface on top of the roof sheathing, something that will protect the roof to, uh, from now till I get the finished roof on, uh, but also will help protect the roof in the future. If there's ever any stray water or something that might uh, get up underneath it, if there's a problem with the roof, uh, if you experience a severe storm and uh, of tornado proportions and a few of your slates or shingles blow off, uh, this roof membrane underneath will help uh, protect your home from getting saturated, wet, and damaged in the, in the process of such a storm as that. What I'm going to put on this little log shed here is slate roofing. In my opinion, you do not need to do a membrane underneath a slate roofing, it, but I don't see where it can hurt. And I think it's also a great, um, a great medium to use uh, during this period of not wanting to have your house covered in plastic, uh, but wanting it protected from rain getting in there. And uh, as this is a part-time project for me, and I have roughly figured out there's going to be you know, like 750 slates that need to go on, and with everything else I got going on in life, I can see this being perhaps a slow process of getting the slates onto the roof. And so I'd like to get rid of the, 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 uh, the plastic over top of it, and I'd like to put down some kind of membrane that will work well with slate in the future, and that uh, perhaps will endure a little bit longer than tar paper, and especially during this transition period from plastic to, to finished roof on top of it. So I'm going with a little bit of a higher grade uh, roofing membrane, and I'm not going to really tell you what brand or uh, you know, you can get them at any hardware store, but supposedly it's a little bit uh, higher of a quality of a tar paper. It holds up better. Uh, tar paper doesn't really hold up well for a temporary uh, roofing uh, material. It, uh, it tends to dry out in the rain real quick. Uh, it's pretty brittle. The, the wind tends to get up underneath it and tear it off. And if you've ever been around large construction sites like hotels or, uh, or uh, vast subdivisions with row houses in it, uh, you've probably seen after a storm uh, piles of tar paper blown off of many different roofs. So it, it's not really a great medium. So I'm going with a little bit higher of a quality uh, 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 rubber type membrane uh, to put underneath the tar. It's av available at any hardware store. And uh, this will give me a, a temporary roof that are probably good for a few months uh, and will act as a wonderful membrane underneath my slate. Well, all right, thank you very much for joining me today here on Handmade House TV. Before I go, I'd like to thank five new members of the Handmade House Guild. They are Seth Reynolds, Tyler Traganatis, Traganatis, I hope, Will Barr, Charles Pala, and Mike Loeb.
That's five. I hope I got everybody's names pronounced right. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you're not a member of the Handmade House Guild, perhaps by now you're aware that the doors to Handmade House Guild membership are going to be closing soon. Uh, it's it's going to be shut off. It was a founding uh, principle that I put into place in order to uh, in order to share with individuals that wanted to come with me on the ride of creating all of the academy courses. Uh, it, was a, it was an idea, a concept of, of creating a bonding community of, of wonderful individuals and sure enough it really has come together. There are a few hundred of us in place now and, uh, I, uh, and I think we're getting to a, to a good point to stop that, uh, to close the doors on membership into the Handmade House Guild. Uh, everyone that's in there has lifetime access to uh, everything that's there and everything that will be generated by me in the future. Uh, it was a wonderful founding concept, but uh, clearly it's coming to an end uh, by the end of this year. And uh, if you haven't joined us, uh, it's an incredible package. It's an incredible offering. Uh, it only comes around once in life. Uh, it's been in place for a couple of years. And uh, you're invited to join us, uh, but you need to you need to jump on quick if you're going to come with us. Okay, thank you so much for joining me today. Look forward to talking to you next time here on Handmade House TV. Goodbye now.